I just want to add a quick side note here. I'm currently getting over a cold, so if my voice sounds a little weird today or if there's anything weird about the commentary, that's probably why. We got off to a hot start this season, winning 49 to 20 over Syracuse in week one, but now it's time to put that game behind us and get to our next opponent. And that game is against number four, Penn State in their first game of the season, but they are led by a former member of the South City Triceratops. And that would be their new starting quarterback in Eli Cox, who comes in as an 80 overall, transferred out of South City for his final season here in college football. But they also have a 93 overall left guard, a 91 overall running back, a 91 overall defensive tackle, a 91 overall right tackle, a 90 overall defensive end, an 88 running back, an 88 receiver, and an 87 receiver. This should be a pretty fun offense to play against. We managed to get back into the top 25 following the win from Syracuse. Let's see if we can climb even higher today. And we get the ball to start the game. I have switched our kick returner to backup running back Tyler Anderson. Early Hawk was not getting it done. But now Anderson down the sideline on this first kick return of the season gets across the 40-yard line. Now out comes true freshman quarterback Keith Hayes, who in his debut accounted for six touchdowns in our last game. And we're going to start this with a screen to the outside, caught by Overrocker. That's going to go for a loss of four. Well, not the ideal first play of the game, but it's okay. Second and 14. Hayes comes out, and we'll send Overrocker in motion. He takes the snap, looking to go downfield, and we'll finally throw this one to the outside, caught by Matt Stevens for a five-yard gain. Third and eight. Now we come out with our fullback in the backfield. Hayes will drop back to pass again. We're going to fire this one over the middle. That one's caught by Stevens for the first down for a 22-yard play here. Now we come out with two running backs in the backfield. Hayes will take the snap. It will be a read option to the outside. Hayes using his speed and getting brought down for an eight-yard play. Let's give Hayes a quick break here on second down as we will give this one to Jack Overrocker, who will go up the middle. And does he have the first down? No, he does not. Third and inches. Tyler Anderson is lined up in the backfield here in a shotgun formation with quarterback Keith Hayes. It'll be a counterplay to Anderson who cuts back to the middle and ends up with the first down to keep the drive alive. A five-yard play. That sets up a first and ten for the Triceratops. Hayes is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap. We're going to fire this one to the end zone. And that one's going to be caught by Donald Johnson. Touchdown, Triceratops. We will go up 7-0. Now out comes the former South City Triceratops, Eli Cox, who is apparently not going to be their starter today. That is not Cox in the backfield. It's Fitzpatrick as they give it to Montgomery, who goes to the outside. He ends up with the first down and will finally be brought down to the 45-yard line. That's a 21-yard gain. All I'm saying is their depth chart shows that Eli Cox should be their starter, but apparently it's going to be true freshman Brad Fitzpatrick. Well, you can't say I didn't send Eli Cox to have a chance here. Fitzpatrick comes back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap, hand out to Montgomery, who goes up the middle, and he will have a first down run. No, they give it a second and inches. And apparently they're going to run a lot of no huddle today. On second and down, Fitzpatrick from shotgun will drop back to pass. Dance around the pocket, goes to a wide open man who makes the catch for the quick and easy first down. First and 10, back in shotgun again. Another handoff to Montgomery who goes to the outside. The blocking sets up on the counter play and he ends up with another first down for Penn State. A 16-yard run. The defense is apparently going to be tested pretty well today. They send Young in motion on the next play. They'll take the snap. They give it back to Montgomery who was met and brought down for just a three-yard carry this time. However, they're going to keep that no-huddle offense going. A second and seven. Fitzpatrick comes back in shotgun again. It'll be an option to the outside. He gets to the edge, but he got popped by our defensive back. I believe that was Andy McMillan. That sets up a third and four now with two running backs in the backfield. Fitzpatrick will take the snap. A quick throw down field to a wide open man for a 13-yard gain and the first down. Keeping the no-huddle drive going. It's a first and goal with two running backs in the backfield. He'll take the snap and look to pass, standing in the pocket, dancing around, throwing to the end zone and finding his man. Touchdown, Darnell Young, and they tie this game up at seven. I was hoping to get to see quarterback Eli Cox, but I guess he could not win the starting job away from this true freshman, so I guess his transfer was pretty much pointless. Following the next kick return, we take over on our own 21-yard line from shotgun. We'll hand this one to Overrocker, and the blocking will set up pretty nicely as he ends up with an eight-yard carry. That sets up a second and two. Hayes is back in shotgun. Overrocker is the running back. We'll run the play action. We're going to fire this one deep over the middle. That's caught by Stevens, who will make a few people miss, get to the sideline, and get brought down for a gain of 37. The true freshmen have shown up today. It took me a while to get Stevens involved in the first game of the season. I believe that's already catch number three today. But now on first and 10, we'll take the snap. It's going to be a QB draw, and I should probably never run that again. Now on second and 12, Hayes comes out under center. We'll drop back to the pass. 
And we're once again going to go to the freshman receiver. I kind of screwed up that call, but Stevens makes the catch again, this time for an 18-yard play. That gives us a new set of downs inside the red zone here. And it will be an option play that we give to Overrocker, who goes up the middle, has some good blocking, and ends up setting up a first and goal. Hayes lines up under center on the very next play. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Johnson, and he's into the end zone already for his second touchdown today as we go up 14-7. The kick returner would bring them up to their own 31. Fitzpatrick will run a QB draw to start the drive and end up with a five-yard carry. He's all on in the backfield. Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. He's going down the sideline. That's caught by Young for the first down, a gain of 16. Once again, a five-wide set. He sends Young in motion. It's an option play to the outside, and he is brought down by Michael Starks for a loss of four. Now on second and 14, Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket, fires downfield. It's caught by Alston, who's wide open for the first down and a gain of 21 yards. Defense not quite showing up like they did last week. First and 10. It's a draw point to Jackson. Go up the middle, but he meets Kellen Rice for just a one-yard carry. No matter the result, they're going to keep running this no-huddle offense, though. Now a second and nine. Back in shotgun, it's going to be a read option. Fitzpatrick to the outside, and he'll get met and brought down to set up a third and three. Can we get them off the field here? Fitzpatrick from shotgun will drop back to pass. Rolling to the outside. He's under pressure and getting sacked on the play by Michael Starks, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a face mask, so it's an automatic first down. And he really didn't even need to do that because I think we had enough pressure on him anyway. But now first and 10 from the 15 for Penn State. Fitzpatrick got a shotgun with a counterplay to Jackson, and Jackson will run over a couple players all the way down to the one-yard line. That makes it a first and goal with about 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Fitzpatrick got a shotgun. We'll look to pass. He goes to the end zone. That one will be caught by Darnell Young for his second touchdown today as they may get 14 to 14. There has not been an incomplete pass in this game yet. Apparently, both of these freshman quarterback came out looking for a fight today. First and 10 from our own 25. We're going to start this drive with a read option, and that's going to get read perfectly in the backfield for a loss of four. This will most likely be the last play of the first quarter. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to step up in the pocket here, read that lane, and take a decent gain here to set up a third and six as we head to the second quarter. Looking to keep the drive alive now. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. Roll out to the outside, trying to escape the pressure. We will get away from it. He has the first down, and we'll slide to safety. Just a one-yard gain from Jack Overrocker on the next play brings up a second and nine. Now out of pistol. We'll go back to where an option play, and Hayes will keep himself, and he breaks one tackle, but is brought down to set up a third and two now. We've already had to convert a few third downs today. Can we convert one more? Hayes will take the snap. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Adam Watkins for his first reception today for a gain of 13. On first and 10, we now go back to Overrocker, who goes up the middle and ends up with an eight-yard gain this time. Now we come out with several players in the backfield, including backup quarterback Josh Coleman. Four, second, and two. We'll hand off to Tyler Anderson, who goes up the middle, and he gets the first down for the Triceratops. Just a three-yard carry, but it's all we needed. Now, how about a wildcat formation for the Triceratops? Adam Watkins is in at quarterback. We're going to send Donald Johnson in motion. It's a jet sweep to him, and he can't make anyone miss. That is a massive loss. That sets up a second and 16. Hayes from under center will run the play action. Now we're going to look to fire this one over the middle, and that one will be dropped by Stevens, and that's the first incomplete pass of the day. That was a relatively risky pass, not going to lie. Now Hayes back in shotgun for the third down. He'll take the snap, and he's going to look to run for it himself. Can he get the good blocking? And yes, he will. First down SCU. We got it with pretty much a quarterback draw. Now a first and 10. Back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap, hand off to Anderson, and he's going to get hit immediately. A loss of two. That sets up a second and 12, and Overrocker has checked back into the game now. Hayes out of shotgun, will drop back. A quick third down field caught by Stevens, but it's knocked out of his hands. That sets up a third and 12. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. Rolling to the outside, waiting for someone to come open downfield. And we'll finally throw it towards the sideline. That one's caught by Stevens, and he has the first down. Now first and goal, and a goal line set. Hayes will take the snap, run the play action. Now throw this one to the end zone. That one's caught by Tyler Anderson. Touchdown, South City, but there is a flag down. Holding on the offense, so bring that play back. Now a first and goal from the 14-yard line. We will hand this one to Overrocker, who will break one tackle immediately and get brought down for a three-yard carry. Now a five-wide set. Hayes is back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. A quick throw to the back corner of the end zone will fall incomplete. Tried to get that one to Adam Watkins. Now a third and goal from the 10-yard line. Hayes will take the snap and look to pass. 
We're lobbing this one to the end zone. He's got a man, and that's a touchdown to Matt Stevens. That is now three passing touchdowns here in just the first half. Obviously, we've already burned a ton of time here in the second quarter, but now they take over for their drive. Fitzpatrick with a quick throw to the outside, caught by Hall, who will step out of bounds for an eight-yard gain. Fitzpatrick will take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw to the outside. That one's going to be caught by Hall, who cuts up the sideline, breaks one tackle, and is brought down to the 40. That brings up another first and 10. Fitzpatrick with a quick handoff is going to be hit in the backfield for a loss of four, I believe, by Jason Newby. And he was back there pretty much immediately. Now on second down. Fitzpatrick got a shotgun. They go back to Jackson to the outside, but he meets Kellen Rice for a loss of one. That makes it a third and 15 now. Penn State back in shotgun. Fitzpatrick with another draw play to Jackson. I don't know what their strategy was here, but I'm going to burn a timeout. I have no idea what their strategy was there, but I will gladly take the ball back with 2.08 to play in the half. We will come out with a read option, and Hayes cannot make that man miss. That's a loss of one. Now we come out in pistol with a minute 45 to play here in the half. He'll take the snap and fire this one over the middle. That one's caught by Josh Bain, who is going to be brought down in Penn State territory. I believe that's the first time this season I've called his name. About a minute 30 to play here in the half. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. Rolling to the outside to try to escape the pressure. We'll throw this one on the run. That one's caught by Seth Avery, who will be brought down inside the 20 for a 21-yard gain from our tight end. A four-yard run from Hayes on the next play brings up a second and six with about 40 seconds to go here in the half. He will take the snap and look to pass. We'll dump this one off to the running back, Jack Overrocker, who will try to make some people miss, break a tackle, and end up with the first down for a seven-yard play. Now on first and goal from the five-yard line. Out of pistol, we hand this one to Tyler Anderson, and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, South City. They have 13 seconds before halftime. Let's see if they're going to try to go downfield to get anything. They are lined up in a Hail Mary formation, but it will just be a handoff to Jackson, who will go to the outside and get brought down. They do burn a timeout, though. Following a nine-yard run to start the drive, they have nine seconds here on second and one. Fitzpatrick going over the middle. He finds Alston for an 18-yard gain, and they'll burn their second timeout. They're going to have to go all the way to the end zone on this play. Fitzpatrick is back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. Stand back in the pocket. He's going to launch this one towards the goal line, and that one will be caught and into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Are you kidding me, defense? That is not at all how I envisioned ending this half. It's only going to be a seven-point game, and they will get the ball to start the next half. Both of these true freshman quarterback end up throwing for three touchdowns in the first half. Now Penn State gets the ball to start the second half, and they'll find his man over the middle for about a nine-yard gain. He continues his perfect day. So far, he is 11 of 11. Now on second and one, he will send Young in motion. Take the snap as a handoff to Montgomery, who is now back in the game. He makes one man miss and is brought down. They give him the first down, though. I didn't think he got there. Now a first and 10 again. Out of shotgun, Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. Going deep downfield, he has Young, who is now off to the races. And I believe Darnell Young is going to have his third touchdown today. This one from 63 yards out. Now, Keith Hayes did not have a perfect half, but he had a pretty damn good one. We come out of our own 32-yard line to start the next half for us. It's going to be an option play to the outside, and Hayes will get brought down for a nine-yard run. Now on second down, Overrocker is in the backfield. Out of a pistol set, we will give it to him, and he is going to be hit in the backfield to bring up a third and four. Let's see if we can convert and keep the drive moving. Out of a read option, we'll give it to Overrocker up the middle. He'll have the first down and get brought down for a seven-yard gain. Now we line up under center for the next play. From our own 45-yard line, Hayes will take the snap, run the play action. Rolling to the outside. We're just going to take off with the quarterback here. He's got the first down and more finally brought down at about the 40-yard line of Penn State. Now we come out back in pistol. Overrocker once again in the backfield. We do give it to Overrocker, and he will go to the right side for a seven-yard gain. We're going to break out the Wildcat one more time. This time, Tyler Anderson's lined up at quarterback. He sends Coleman in motion, and Anderson's going to get swarmed in the backfield, and I believe that was a face mask tackle, but they're not going to call it. That is generally what that animation is, but I guess we're not going to call it here. Now on third and six, he'll drop back to pass. We'll dump this underneath. That's caught by Adam Watkins, and for the first time today, we will not convert on third down. However, I was fine taking the short throw because I knew we were going to go for it on fourth down if we didn't get it. So now we come out with no one else in the backfield. Hayes will take the snap. Roll out to the outside. Trying to escape the pressure. Throws on the run, and that one will fall incomplete. This game is absolutely wide open right now. 4-13 to go in the third quarter. Tied up at 28. Fitzpatrick got a shotgun. Hands off to Montgomery, and he gets his head taken off by Kellen Rice. 
That sets up a second and nine. They do give him a yard on that play. And they go right back to Montgomery, who goes up the middle. He'll break a couple tackles and get brought down to bring up a third and three. Now the question is, can we get them off the field with a three and out? Fitzpatrick back in shotgun. He'll send Alston in motion. He takes a snap. It's a handoff to Montgomery, and he is met by Michael Starks, and that will bring up a fourth and one, and they should punt this ball back to SCU. Following the punt, we take over at our own 28-yard line. On first and 10, it is a read option. We give it to Overrocker up the middle, and that's a nine-yard run. Now on second down, back in shotgun. We're going right back to Overrocker, who goes up the middle and ends up with the first down for just a two-yard carry. Now Hayes is lined up under center. Overrocker still in at running back. We'll take the play action. Roll out to the outside. Not seeing anyone come open deep downfield. Hayes is finally just going to take off for the first down for a 12-yard run of his own. Now a first and 10. Anderson is lined up in the backfield. We will give this counterpoint to Anderson, who goes to the outside, spins out two defenders, and ends up with another 12-yard run for SCU. Now we come out with a five-wide set. Hayes will take the snap. He fakes the QB draw, rolls out to the outside. He escapes the pressure away from a couple people, but can't spin out that defender. Does get an eight-yard gain, though. I'm not just looking to run. I'm really not seeing anyone come open on these last few pass plays. But now on second and two, we'll take the snap. We hand off to Overrocker to go up the middle, and that will set up a third and two as he gets nothing. Hayes comes back in shotgun. Overrocker is still lined up in the backfield. We'll take the snap and look to pass going over the middle, and that's deflected away from our tight end. We are once again going to go for it here on fourth down. I think this might be slightly out of our kicker's range. We still don't have a great kicker on this team. We're back in shotgun. Take the snap, roll out to the outside, and Hayes is going to take off, and I tried to slide, and he's brought down by his face mask, but once again, it's not called. I don't know where they pulled these refs from, but I really hope we don't get them again this entire season. From the 24-yard line, it's going to be a counterpoint to Overrocker to the outside, and he will try to spin out some defenders, end up with an eight-yard gain. That should be the final play of the third quarter. We come out with two running backs in the backfield here, Overrocker and Anderson. We will take the snap and give it to Overrocker, and he will not get the first down, third and inches. It really feels like we've been on third down a lot today. Back in pistol, we'll take the snap. It will be an option play. Hayes will keep it himself, and does he have the first down? Yes, they give it to him just barely, I think. Now Hayes lines up under center from about the 14-yard line. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw will be caught by Adam Watkins, who will cut up field for a nine-yard gain. Now a second and a one. Back in shotgun, he'll take the snap, run the play action, and try to get rid of it, but gets sacked for a loss of seven. That brings up a third and eight now for SCU. Hayes is back in shotgun, we'll take the snap, and we'll throw this one underneath, and that should have been intercepted. Tried to hit Tyler Anderson, now we have a fourth down. And I know this one is in our kicker's range, so freshman kicker Derek Rivera will come out to try to give us a three-point lead. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and it is good. With 6.15 to play, they take over at their own 25-yard line. Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. He's going to fire this one downfield, and he has Young once again wide open for another first down, this time for a 33-yard play. Darnell Young has absolutely gashed this secondary all day. First and 10. He comes out with no one else in the backfield again. Fitzpatrick will take the snap, and he's going to fire this one downfield. Once again, caught by Young. He's off to the races, and this will be touchdown number four for him. Now Anderson back to return this one from the five-yard line. Can we give a spark back to this team? Anderson up the sideline, and he will get brought down near the 40. I cannot believe how bad our secondary has been today. That quarterback still has not thrown a single incomplete pass. We are now down by four with 5.55 to play. We'll hand this one to Overrocker, and he'll have a decent gain here to start the drive, getting the first down for a gain of 11. First and 10, Hayes comes back in pistol for the next play. He'll drop back to the pass. We're going to go to Tyler Anderson on the outside who makes the catch for another first down. This one into Penn State territory. A six-yard run from Overrocker on the next play brings up a second and four for SCU. We'll come out with an option play. That'll be a toss out to Anderson who cuts back in and will get the first down for just a four-yard gain. Now just about four and a half minutes to go here in the game. Out of shotgun, it's a counterplay out to Overrocker who goes to the edge and will run over one man end up with a seven-yard carry to bring up a second and three. Hayes now lines up in shotgun with Tyler Anderson in at running back. We'll take the snap, run the play action. Now we'll roll out to the outside, and Hayes will cut up field. He has the first down, but he fumbles the ball, and it will be recovered by Penn State inside the 10-yard line. Just absolutely brutal for South City here. Now we need to try to get the ball back. With 3.56 to play, they're going to start with an option to the outside, caught by Montgomery, who gets to the edge and will end up with a first down on their first carry. They are going to keep running this no-huddle offense, though. 
He lines up in shotgun. Fitzpatrick will take the snap, handle to Montgomery, who goes up the middle, and this time he'll get met and brought down for a four-yard gain. I'm not too worried about calling timeouts just yet. Second and six now, back in shotgun. Montgomery is still lined up at running back. Fitzpatrick will actually look to pass this time, and the perfect day will not continue as Andy McMillan gets an interception, and we will take over at the 30-yard line. The Juco transfer comes up massive on that play. On first and 10, it's a counterpoint to Overrocker, and he won't fumble the ball. That's a six-yard gain. Now with just about three minutes to play, Hayes out of shotgun. We're going to lob this one down the sideline. He's got a man, and that's caught by Josh Bain. Touchdown, South City, and we will retake the lead. They have 2.50 to go here in the game. They start at their own 24-yard line. Fitzpatrick will take the snap. It's a handoff to Montgomery, and I don't think we're expecting a run at all as they start this drive with a 12-yard carry. Now 2.46 to go in the game. They still have all three timeouts. Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. Going down the sideline, he finds Young, who continues his incredible day. A new set of downs with 2.41 to go. Already in South City territory, Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket, going deep over the middle. That's a caught by Olsen, and he will have the first down for a 21-yard play here. I play man, and Young burns us. I play zone. They find the soft part of the zone. First and 10, Fitzpatrick on a shotgun. We'll drop back so fast, dance around the pocket. We really need to get some pressure, and he will finally throw a ball away today. That sets up a second and 10 with 2.27 to play. He'll take the snap, hands off to Thibodeau up the middle, who will break some tackles and end up with a 10-yard gain, and they give him the first down there. Personally, I didn't think he made it there. First and 10 now. Takes the snap, hands off to Thibodeau again, who goes up the middle, and he is brought down for just a three-yard carry. Now a second and seven. With 2.05 to play, Fitzpatrick with an option to the outside. He'll stiff arm one man and then get brought down to bring up a third and three with under two minutes to play. They come out in shotgun, two running backs in the backfield. Fitzpatrick will drop back to pass. It's going to be a screen. He's under a lot of pressure, but there is no one on that side of the field, and Thibodeau will fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Oh, and cool. Brad Fitzpatrick just broke the record for most passing touchdowns in a single game at Penn State. A minute 45 in all three timeouts. Keith Hayes comes back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. The first pass going to go to Overrocker and will start with a six-yard gain. Now on second and four, Hayes is back in shotgun. He'll drop back to the pass and we'll fire this one over the middle. That one's caught by Avery, our tight end, for a gain of 16, a minute 25. The clock continues to run. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. Rolling to the outside. We are just going to take off, but we're just going to duck out of bounds so we don't fumble it. Now on second and eight. Back in pistol. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll fire this one over the middle. That one's caught by Jones. That is George Jones, a 14-yard gain. I don't even know who you are. It seems like all of my receivers' stamina has been depleted because I'm down to backup receivers. But now first and 10. We'll drop back to pass. A quick through the outside. That's Brian Edwards. That's our number one defensive back out there making a play. Now just 40 seconds to go in the game. Hayes will take the snap, rolling to the outside, and we'll try to get rid of this one, but luckily that's going to fall incomplete and not count as a fumble. 36 seconds to go here in the game now. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. We'll fire this one downfield, and that should have been a game-sealing interception. You know, having to do this with my second and third string receivers isn't exactly great. Chris Scott's a linebacker. Edwards is a defensive back. Coleman is our backup quarterback. But now on third and 10, we'll drop back to the pass. We're going to fire this one to Coleman, but we completely miss him. Fourth down. This is most likely the game. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and a quick throw downfield will be intercepted away. And it looks like Penn State will walk away with this victory, barring a miracle. We do have all three timeouts, so we do have a chance to stop them here and then throw some sort of Hail Mary. Hand off to Montgomery, who goes to the outside, and never mind, he's going to break a first down on the very first play. They will be able to chew out the rest of the clock here. I guess it's something to do with a stamina slider, but losing all of my receivers made that a little bit more difficult. Obviously, Darnell Young going for eight catches, 195 yards, and four touchdowns didn't help us either. The secondary played absolutely awful. McMillan did come up with that one pick to try to keep us in the game where we then took the lead, but then they let them drive right downfield to take it right back. And then obviously we throw the game losing interception and fall to one and one. The final stats for today, Keith Hayes, 21 of 31 for 291 yards, four touchdowns and one interception. Running the ball over Rucker only got 94 yards. Hayes ran for over 100 and Anderson found the end zone once. Then receiving Stevens, six for 105 and a score. But sadly, a lot of these guys disappeared late in the game. Not they uh, couldn't get open. They literally just disappeared. 
Josh Bain, two for 50 in a score, and then Donald Johnson caught two touchdowns. Leading the team in tackles was Brian Edwards. In sacks, we only got one from Michael Starks. And then in interceptions, Andy McMillan came away with the only one. And while I was expecting to see Eli Cox, I'm really starting to wish that we had seen Eli Cox because this guy was a problem. Brad Fitzpatrick, 17 for 19, 342, six touchdowns, one interception. On the ground, they ran for 120 yards. And receiving Darnell Young, eight for 195 and four touchdowns. Thibodeau also got one and so did Taylor. Luckily, we do not fall out of the top 25 and we will look to rebound in our next game and we are at South City and we are hosting the Kansas State Wildcats.